Dream Barbecue's trailer reignited my love for Ina, and now you, dear viewer, have to suffer the consequences! There is obviously a lot to cover here, and most of it is unproven as of now. Before watching this, I will be best to watch the Dream ba Ina Dream Barbecue trailer yourself, as I don't feel like I can give a good enough overview of it all. I will be explaining and showing relevant clips for each section. Also, disclaimer, this is all for fun and I'm probably wrong about lots of things. I haven't watched any of the other analysis videos on this yet as to not accidentally copy someone else. I had lots of ideas and theories in my head while writing this, so I only wrote down the ones that made the most sense to me. Thank you to everyone who helped me out on this and let me ramble. I love you know, so much and I'm super excited for the game! Space Funeral is a game previously referenced in Ina, with Joel G stating that a line from Temptation Stairway was a reference to a line in the game. Drink the blood and smoke the banana. Yes. What are you Therefore, taking more inspiration from Space Funeral is not completely out of the realm of reality. This game, briefly summarized, is one in which a protagonist is told by a wizard that his world is being corrupted. He then goes on a quest appointed by said wizard to try to fix it. By the way, a shaman character that looks like your stereotypical wizard was revealed to give a player a quest in some concept out of the game's UI. Uh, I think he's the same person from the trailer. I believe the similar themes of corruption that are in Space Funeral are very present in Ina Dream Barbecue. Here's why. Most obviously, Ina's green, cracked form. In this state, she closely resembles the enemy from the title screen. This is only an interpretation, but I think this implies that this form of Ina is broken, corrupted, and needs to be fixed. That's where the most symmetrical, perfect Ina comes in. In these two shots, we can see a similar background in different states. There is the red ground, mountains, in one they are cracked, in the other they are normal, and the rain, despite it being different for the two of them. The rain is flowers for the most symmetrical Ina, and the bullets for the corrupted Ina. These consecutive shots show the corrupted Ina writhing on the ground in pain while the other shoots. This makes me think of two scenarios, one either a parallel of the plot of Space Funeral, in which Ina must exterminate the corrupted side of herself. This would explain why she shoots instead of being shot, and why she has a relatively nicer environment overall. However, this could also simply be two shots from different time frames, as my friend Seth suggested, although I still cannot find a reason for the gunshot. In the cores of these teasers and trailers, we see around four different Inas, I will refer to them as Player Ina, Symmetrical Ina, Corrupted Ina, and Human Ina. Player Ina is the character we see that has one half of her is red, and the other is white with a light blue section on the top right half of her face. I call her Player Ina because she is the one that resembles the Ina we have previously known the most. I used to think that the blue section was shading, however, looking at the other official art, I know that this is just another colour that could represent an emotion that the other Inas, apart from Human Ina, do not have. Symmetrical Ina is the one we see in this trailer. This Ina does not have any eyes, nor does she have the blue section. This may just be drawn like this to make animation easier, although I doubt it. Take a look at the rest of the trailer, or just to have a different aesthetic similar to this Dream Barbecue teaser, but I believe it's purposeful. Corrupted Ina has two faces, I'd say. Firstly, a green face with holes in the place of eyes, then she begins to crack. Blue and purple liquid seep out from her face, and in another official art, her geometric arm. Although in the trailer we see that she has no arms, so this cannot be confirmed. Finally, human Ina still retains her unnatural colours. Red on her left side, and blue on the rest of her body. However, she has a much more organic look to her. She appears sickly to me, and of course she has a huge hole in her chest, outlined by an orange glow. When she holds a mannequin, we see that this orange glow surrounds her mouth too. As the trailer was released, people have figured out that these flowers seen in it are called Brugmansia, or Angel's Trumpets. I have seen someone say that these flowers represent that someone has died, however, I have yet to come across any proof that that is true. I may be mistaken though, feel free to correct me or so. Anyways, onto what I've personally discovered about these flowers. Angel's Trumpet is incredibly toxic and fatal if ingested, its chemicals, chemicals can cause many negative effects such as hallucinations, memory loss, paralysis, and so forth. However, some also use it recreationally to purposely cause these hallucinations and euphoria. The only theory I will not try to entertain is the one that all of her world and characters and everything in the series is hallucinated. Frankly, because I think it's not boring, but overused, and also because it worsens the story, it undermines everything you're trying to do, I think. 
There's few cases where it's done really well, but I want to avoid it for now. Anyways, I'm going to talk about some other thoughts this imagery invokes. The flowers contrasted with the bullets near the end of the trailer and in the official art for the song Anemoya could represent how one side of Ina is facing the negative effects while the other is in bliss hallucinating. But more likely, I think, the character who could be facing most of these effects could very well be human Ina, as when we see her she appears to be extremely ill. Her scenes with Spatulady also lead me to believe she was hallucinating, uh, I'll go into that later. Furthermore, the game's overarching theme of food and barbecues correlates to consumption, therefore if something had to do with consuming these flowers, it would not be unlikely. If they do symbolize death, then that would correlate to Ina's corrupted form and her shooting the gun at the end of the trailer. It could also link to Ina's past form, whichever it is, dying in a sense, and forgetting what has happened due to the memory loss this flower causes. Snaggletooth's man cave on Tumblr recently made a post that changed a lot in my perspective of this trailer and led me down the rabbit hole of all the secrets in it. So, thank you! And thank you again for giving me permission to use this post in the video, friend. In this post, she describes how the environment's design and spatula these seen resemble protein helixes, as well as in the opening scene, Ina is face to face with a character that, quote, strongly resembles a misfolded protein slash prion, such as the ones that cause neurodegeneration and mad cow disease, chronic wasting disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, etc. It has ravaged the body of its hosts, unquote. Tab Hey, Tabi? commented that the folded paper decorations in this scene appear to be Shide using Shinto shrines. This brings a scene of divinity to this, and could mean the creature could be a kami. To further the sense of religion, there was the shaman character seen in the trailer and the UI concept art, although I do know that shamans and kamis are not from the same religion. Furthermore, Snaggletooth made an addition to the post that went more in depth with the mad cow disease theme. Quote, the misfolded looking character is sitting in the mouth of its victim, which is the only way mad cow is spread, through the consumption of infected meat. Also, mad cow was a huge scare in the 90s, Ina seems to take a lot of inspiration from the 90s and 2000s." Unquote. I asked her in DMs if she had any theories to do with this, and she told me this, quote, Oh yes, I was thinking that everyone shown on the TV screens at the beginning of the trailer was under its influence. It at least looked to me like they were mimicking its movements, so I think it's likely that the creature, slash Kami, has an ability to infect or mind control others. A while ago, I was wondering if maybe Green Ina's crazed behaviour might have been influenced by this, but I can't say for sure, and I don't think everything that happens in the game necessarily has to be tied back to the Kami. Joel G has a very detached, non-linear style of storytelling, and I'm sure this game will be no exception. A lot of people say that Ina could have gotten that hole in her chest from being shot by the Kami at the beginning, but I don't think a trailer would be showing everything that chronologically. Maybe what's shown as a mini climax of the game, some sort of villainous monologue when the being is at its most powerful." Unquote. I think the way this is worded is wonderful, so I will simply not in agree. I want to talk about the Spatulady segment in particular, since there are lots of small details I noticed that I found interesting. The first thing that we notice as the scene begins is human Ina on the floor with a hole in her stomach. Then, something which took me some rewatches to notice, a spotlight shines on her in time of the song's note. This catches her attention, and she looks up at the spatula lady. She holds her hand out, perhaps enticing Ina to come closer. The next scene with the two of them shows Ina crawling towards the spatula lady, but, and here's another small detail, Ina's pupils seem to grow smaller as the music changes tone, perhaps because something unexpected has happened that caused her to panic. Another small detail I just noticed is the music in this section. When it comes to the spatula lady and Ina crawling towards her, the music is much more... Um, magical than the previous scene. However, that goes away as soon as Ina's uh, eyes, uh, pupils, uh, grow smaller. Yeah, just a fun little detail. I believe this unexpected event is explained the next time we see her wherein she is holding the mannequin, not spatulady. I interpret this to mean that Ina was approaching Spatulady, the mirage or hallucination faded away and she was just left with another mannequin. This, part of the underlying themes of mad cow disease in this scene, as previously mentioned, could make for some interesting theories. The most apparent one in my brain being that human Ina is suffering from the effects of mad cow. In the first writing we see, it says Ina the worker, which then switches to I see lack of conviction in your mind, surrounded by four different images and a pattern in the background. 
The pattern in the background could be a reference to Peruvian textile designs, as many things from the Ina series are based off of Joel G's own culture and life. Although, correct me if I'm wrong. Ina being a worker is also further implied when she picks up a tip someone left. The lack of conviction in Ina's mind could be that she is uncertain whether she can complete a quest, or hold a secret, or perhaps go through with a bargain. The reason I get the idea that this is a bargain is because of the hand action she does when communicating with the creature at the start. I assume the bargain goes poorly as a gun is pulled on her. Or perhaps she is given the gun. I believe each of the drawings has a significance. Firstly, the chained mouth. This can mean that someone needs to keep their mouth shut or that, can, or that they forcibly cannot speak. On the bottom left, there is a camel with a clock on its face. I tried reading the time, but it seems that the hands are the same length. This makes sense, as I doubt that there's any logical way to tell time in Ina's world. On the bottom right, we see an envelope that opens to reveal a figure rowing. This could give us a look into what the worker's job is, a mailman. The game could be about delivering something someplace, it's almost like how Ina was on an urgent quest to give Mooney a gift. For the top right, I have no idea. <laughs> Me and a friend think it could be fish bones. The second time we see the writing, the whole thing reflects Ina's state, slowly breaking. How unusual for you tells us that this Ina is usually very sure of her beliefs, and perhaps reality. The images are different in this time round, and also harder for me to decipher. On the top left, there is a green bag with legs, probably further implying her job is to deliver things. On the bottom left, there is a red cobweb, knives, and a paperclip on top. I tried to think what these could all mean. Perhaps a cobweb and paperclip signify holding things together and a knife breaks it apart? Maybe like in a state of mind. On the bottom right is her megaphone, which is also seen all over the sky in the corrupted Ina scenes, and in the teasers. On the top right is what appears to be a painting or window of someone in a yellow suit or pink tie. This could be an important character, although I'm unsure. The final time we see the writing, it is fully dull and cracked without any images, and it says, let's put that dead meat in its place. Following my interpretation that Ina needed to keep her mouth shut, but she didn't. The lack of images could also show that, could also show that Ina's conviction slash belief in who she is has been broken. She has no idea who she is. It could also symbolize her death. This segment should have probably come in first, but I am not that organized. So, the first time I watched this teaser and trailer, I didn't understand why this game was called Dream Barbecue. So now I will compile all the little details that make it a barbecue. <laughs> the people in the monitors look like they're eating. The creature slash Kami is sitting on the tongue of the frog, and there seem to be hands coming out of the mouth. When we see the shadows, the thing Ina's hand reaches out to looks like a fork. Spatula lady looks like a spatula. The person in the sky appears to look like a barbecue grill. At one point, they push the mannequins into the fire. The sky could be smoke instead of clouds. The phrase, dead meat. Legs coming out of the red water that looks like blood. The pink person seems to be holding a ladle. The bone structure in the gameplay section. Human Ina could be deathly ill, hungry, or both. The mannequins falling into red liquid slash blood. Outside of the trailer, in the game announcement, we see Ina get eaten by something with only a mouth and legs. These could be the same legs in the blood lake. These are some miscellaneous details I noticed that I couldn't figure out how to fit in. At the end of the trailer, the dream flickers to show R-E-M, like REM sleep. Joji has also stated that months ago, even before uploading Temptation Stairway, he thought about the possibility of doing an Ina project based on nightmares. This is the reason why Dream Barbecue looks different and uncanny in some aspects. Snaggletooth pointed this out. There is a character obscured by the Shide. She also pointed out that there is a theme of frogs throughout the Ina series. Also, she saw a resemblance between this character and Uboa from Yume Niki, Gasta by extension. Anemoya, the name of the song in the trailer, means a nostalgia for a time you've never known, a past you've never lived. The prototype of the quest board shows the shaman as well as the same headless horse we see in the teaser. The keys on the keyboard are in the wrong order. All in all, there is lots to be considered in this trailer. Some of what I've said may make sense, all of it may just be a little silly, a little goofy even. But I think it's important to remember that the game will have multiple endings, so multiple theories could be true. Perhaps Symmetrical Ina isn't shooting Corrupted Ina, and it may just be two possible endings. And also, like Snaggletooth said, it's important to remember that Joel G has a very detached, non-linear style of storytelling. 
So who knows what's going to happen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to support the game in any way you can.